Hey there friends, Martin here and today let me talk a bit about a new feature that Blender offers and that helps you turn your 3D models into painterly looking images. At this stage of my Heroes of Bronze project, I write a lot of stories which I like to accompany by illustrations. Now you can find some of these on my Instagram. And as you already may know, I often employ a blend of 3D and 2D painterly style. I know, it's fake, but you know, in my generalist work, I tend to be all about efficiency. And though I'd love to, I simply don't have time to paint everything from scratch. Especially since this world building project of mine is so huge. That's why, for the past few years, I've been polishing this workflow of turning 3D renders into painterly looking images rapidly. Since I already have hundreds and hundreds of models made for this ancient period, it made sense to use them to create paintings. For quite a bit, I've been actually using the Blender denoising option to render out the basis for these paintings. Basically, you just turn your samples really low and then activate the optics denoising. And voila! you get a basic painterly effect, alas, you can't really control it. This changed with the new Blender 4.0 version. There is this super handy new tool called Kuvahara effect. It's basically a post-production filter that you can add right behind your render layer in the compositor. Nothing happens right off the bat, but if you go to the viewport shading in the newest Blender versions, you can now activate the post-production effect like this, directly in the viewport and you can either activate them only for the camera view or always as you can see here. Now what happened is it turned my 3D render into something like you would get in Photoshop if you apply some of the default posterized filters. Especially if you go up with the size here it's pretty obvious. Nevertheless with this Kuvahara effect we can do more. We can turn it to this anisotropic mode and increase the uniformity, which makes it more poster-like. Sharpness is something I like to turn up, it makes the stroke-like effect more pronounced. Then turning up eccentricity will also preserve some of the thinner details on your image. So I often go all the way to 2. To make the effect even more obvious, you can actually duplicate the filter and play with the settings some more in this other iteration of it. But that's basically it, now the result will also depend on the render size you choose, as well as the amount of samples. The more samples you add, the more details you get in your painterly effect. Uh, here I used 512 samples, here 128, and here 2048. I saved all these, and then also the version without the effect. With these rendered layers on my disk, I loaded them all into Photoshop and started painting over them, blending them together. For this process, I usually use just normal round brushes, as well as my custom painterly mixer brush that you can get on my Patreon. By the way, you can learn all about this painting process of mine on my specialized course at Gumroad. Be that as it may, this Kuvahara filter is something that can really save you some time producing painterly bases for your paintings. Uh, nevertheless, Using it on its own will make the effect pretty obvious, so I definitely recommend painting over it afterwards. Feeling the need to experiment in the AI area, I'm actually also combining all this with the new Photoshop AI functions to quickly give renders and photos a feeling of brush strokes. I use this mostly for my backgrounds, not for the main subjects of my paintings. Still, I find it quite time saving. So let me know if you're interested in me talking about it in my future videos. One thing I'd like to point out is that if you're interested in the broader story of Heroes of Bronze, apart from watching the short film and reading the backstories on my website, you can now also get this short story from my Gumroad. And that one will introduce you to this whole world that I'm building. And it's full of images, for which I've actually used this workflow that I showed you. But with that, stay creative my friends and until next time, Martin out.